Well, Anne, you know, uh, uh, quite often we don't want to start an interview <laughs> with this kind of thing, but I'm going to do it because I feel so strongly that you've got a hit. I just feel that it's going to be one of the hits of the season. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> do you have good vibes about yes, it? Yes, I, I, I had good feelings about it when I read the script. I felt it was very strong and it was a good foundation. And so I'm glad that you're cooperating that. <laughs> Now, I don't want you to take this wrong, but I, in all honesty, I might not have thought of you for that role. If I read the script, I might not have thought of, of Anne Ryan King. Mm -hmm. uh, were you surprised when you were offered the role? Yes, and uh, also I was happy that, that Blake seemed to feel um, so strongly that way, and uh, Blake Edwards. and. Um, seem to have uh, no ideas of what a person was. You know, he, he's not into typing somebody, and he sees somebody and says, well, I think she would suit well for that. He's, a good, he's good at casting, and I think that's his, one of his major talents. Well, I just, uh, everything about your performance I thought was right on target. Now let's talk about one scene that I especially liked. Um, the scene where you do tell Dudley <laughs> that, I, yeah, that, that pregnant. you are pregnant. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Now, was anything about that scene difficult for you or did it in... Uh, no, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. Uh, amongst the fact that it was a strong script and it was with fine people, you know, Dudley and Amy and Blake uh, the, and Richard, these are very fine actors and a uh, very fine director. So that combination with this wonderful little moment, uh, along with everything else, was one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. And uh, it's an I love you scene. And I think at every moment in everybody's life, you've wanted it to, to say to somebody in words, in a tangible fashion that you love them, you know, be it your mother, your child, or something. And I think everybody has done that, and it's been a bit of a milestone for them, and a thing that they can gratefully live off of, you know, for a long time. And, uh, and uh, this scene I found very touching with all her little filigrees, and all of a sudden she's showing her girlishness, her vulnerability, when she says, you know, I have to stay in bed because of physical problem, but I have to stay in bed for seven months, you know, sort of like Sophia Loren, you know, glamorous, you know. It, it touched me in that she realized and wanted to say that she loved him. She was never interested in having children, ever. But the child meant something to her that was more important than her ambition, which is, e which is a very important thing in somebody's life. And it's life-giving to them. And to say to them that you are more life-giving than that, you know, is, is, a, is a lovely quality. Mm -hmm. Indeed, indeed. Now, you haven't done a film since Annie, right? No. Mm -hmm. uh, that surprises me. Well, I've had offers, and um, I wanted to do something that, one, I related to that had the right ingredients for what was good for my life, and uh, two, had a, a bit of quality. And sometimes you can get something offered to you that's quality, but it's not what you want to do. And um, it's what not. What would you not want to do? I mean, what kind of role would you not want to do, like horror or? I, w I don't think I would want to do horror. I don't, when I say that I don't want to do horror, I'm not saying that it's good or bad. I, it's just something I don't want to do. And there's. What about a passionate, steamy, that sexy? would be hard for. I, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm not passionate or steamy. And I'm not saying that it's wrong. It's something I love, but to be, you know, that base about it is um, just something I don't want to involve in too much, you know. I, I, I love all the things. It's hard for me to say 
the it, what what you're asking because I when I see something that's really good done that way, it's really good, and you can't deny it. It's a beautiful thing, and but it's just something I don't want to partake in too much in a public manner. Uh, did anybody ever talk with you about doing the movie A Chorus Line since you did it? Yes, I, screen, did talk to you? I screen tested for it too. And it was between myself and Allison Reed, I believe, got the part. And uh, it was a disappointment, uh, especially after I had worked with uh, Sir Richard Attenborough on the screen test. I fell in love with him, and I thought, oh, I was so disappointed that I couldn't do it. But then I felt also that it was a tailor-made part, that it passed me by. But to, to know that Allison got it, she, I really admire her. I think she's a good talent and, a, and uh, equally is fine for the part. And, um, Why do you think she got it over you? I think they had a different concept of what they wanted for the role. I don't really know what the concept is. Um, but I think that they wanted to go slightly against what was presented for the last eight years on Broadway with the role of Cassie. So um, they decided for that. And, um, you know, I can't tell you how many parts I haven't gotten. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I'm up there. <laughs> yes. Well, you, you got yourself a winner with this one, Anne. Good. So you can't... No, uh, you count your blessings. That's yeah, all you do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, better to have one hit like this than, you know, two or three oh, so-sos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not that of course Absolutely. line will be so-so, but we don't know that. It's, it's, a, it's an ungiven right now, and, exactly. I, and the, I'm happy for what I have, and, the, and the, I'm looking forward to whatever I'll get. <laughs> well, it's good to see you again, Anne. Good and, to see uh, you, too. Who knows? We'll see one another again soon, I'm If sure. I don't, I'll kill myself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> please, oh, please. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> good to see you again. I was this way was yeah and I don't want you to think this and and I don't want you to take this the wrong way but I might not have ever thought of you for this role why do you think you got this in the scene where you're having to tell Dudley that you are pregnant now, what all was going on in your head at that time? Was, was the scene in the restaurant difficult for you? This is your first movie since Annie, right? How come you haven't done anything since Annie? Were you considered at all for a chorus line, which is in production now? Why do you think Allison Reed got it over you? Okay. Uh, all right, let me just give you some reactions now. Okay, thank you.